Hello, hello, it's Kat here. So you guys know how I made Cortana for my brother. I decided to make a Betty boot for my mother. This video is only going to include her face up as I didn't make a custom outfit to go on the doll at the time. There will be another video later to show the completed outfit when I get it done and take some fantastic pictures of Betty boop. She was amazing. My mother loved her. So let me go back to the beginning. So before I actually got started on the face up, I hit up my stock box to try to figure out which doll I would actually use for Betty Boo. While I did have a Kuku Harajuku doll, I actually decided to go with an Ever After High Apple White because my mom was really into what I was doing at the time and she saw that I had been using Monster High dolls and I kind of wanted to keep up with the theme so that she could definitely feel that she was having a doll based off of what I was already doing, so I decided to keep with the theme. With the victim chosen, it's time to actually prep her for the face up. If you've seen doll face ups before, you'll know that the basic steps to do is to remove the hair, remove the head, remove the excess glue and hair from inside the head, and then acetone the face off. For those of you who have been to subscribe to the channel since the start, I hope you can see that practice does in fact make perfect. I haven't hit perfection yet, but I'm getting to the point where I'm getting happy with my face ups and to be able to definitively say what I like to do about my face ups and how I like to complete them. I'm really starting to lean more towards the Faber-Castell pencils. I still do mix mediums a lot because there's just always something lacking to me when I do the pencils but I am starting to lean on them more heavily because I like how the eyelashes come out. And to be completely honest, I have yet to master getting the fake eyelashes on without wanting to rip my own hair out. While traditionally Betty Boop is black and white, I opted to add a little bit of color. You'll see later on when I do the eyeshadow, I add some purple in, so it's not just flat black. And then I also gave her some rosy cheeks because Betty Boop is the bombshell babe and rosy cheeks. I couldn't pass it up. I had a couple of goals in mind when I was making this Betty Boop. The first one being that I wanted to, without a doubt, have anybody look at it and know it was Betty Boop. So I kept the iconic eyebrows and the iconic eye style. If you can't already tell, I spent a lot more time on this doll layering her up slowly but surely for my mother. I wanted this doll to have a fantastic face up. And I hope it really shows. Getting the sharp lines I wanted with the pencils, I decided to crack open the acrylics and get her eyes all nice and solid, get the scalera white, get the eye color in in a nice sky blue, and then fill in her irises with black. My second goal was to capture the sass that is Betty Boop. Anytime I really thought of her, I would always be seeing her in black leather biker babe that my mom loved to have, or like a Christmas Betty Boop. Regardless of what themed Betty Boop I ended up thinking of, I was always thinking of her over the shoulder air kiss with the wink. I just had to use that expression.
I know it's starting to seem like I'm not doing anything, but I didn't have to zoom in so that you could see the small details I was adding here and there. But in the end, all that little dabbing with the pencil and adding a little blush here and there that you can't see actually did make a huge difference. So for my third and final goal, I definitely want to keep to the things you always saw when you saw Betty Boop. Always glamorous, always well put together, and glossy to the max. So when I finished her face up, I glossed up the eyes and the eyeshadow and did my best to keep the face up neutral so regardless of what the doll was put in, she would always look classy. I got a little footage of me styling the hair, but if you also notice something else in the background, this just gives you an idea of how often I'm working on stuff and how all over the place I am. I am trying to get better about that, but it's a process. So thanks for sticking out for the Betty Boop face up. This is only part one. Hopefully when I get the dress done, I can include a part two and show you a completed one of a kind Betty Boop doll. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've hit the end and you've seen plenty of YouTube videos before, you know the drill. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. If you want to keep up to date without missing any videos, press the little bell button.